is by the Queen of Crochet. <laughs> A white and a red. Um, so the supplies you will need is yarn, of course, um, a hook, your stitch marker. Um, you're also going to want some eyes, or you could just sew it in. You're also going to want a needle. This is comes in, this comes in handy with the spikes. So let's get started. So at first, you will start off with the base, which is six single crochets and a magic ring. So when I deal, when I'm doing when I'm doing stuff with plush yarn, I like to do a different kind of magic ring. So you're gonna start with a slip knot. Go ahead and do that. Um, and then you're gonna chain two, one, two, and then the first chain that you made, you're gonna want a single crochet six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So now we have our magic circle and we're not, we don't have to worry about breaking yarn because this yarn breaks pretty easily. Um, now for row two, we are going to increase six times. So that is when you do two single crochets in the same stitch. So don't forget to place your stitch marker after that stitch. And let's increase. So that's one increase, two, so now that we have finished increasing six times and uh feel free to play this at a slower speed go back that is totally fine um now we are going to do a one single crochet increase six times so take out your stitch marker do one single crochet put that stitch marker back in and do an increase I'll show you what this is. Um, one single crochet, put that one in, and do another one, and then two. So you're gonna wanna be able to stop about halfway, and um, that's when you're gonna move your marker. So I'll show you that in a sec. One, two, increase. So now that we have done that three times, um, and it's very important to count your stitching because a lot of messed up things can happen. So um, now you're gonna do only one single crochet. You're gonna take out your marker and you're gonna move it into that stitch that you just made. So now we will be doing one single crochet in each stitch for uh, three rounds. crocheted for three rows here's the comparison this is like a potato it's kind of chunky but um this is the other one i think this one's gonna be chunky too but so now we are going to be making the little arms so you're gonna want to take your stitch marker out and you're gonna want to single crochet it so let's get that done so now that we have single crochet eight we are now going to be doing a something called a i'm pretty sure it's a mini bobble stitch um i don't really know but it's a fun stitch that makes it nice and comfy so what you're going to want to do is you're going to yarn over go through and pull through and so now you have three on your hook you're only going to you're going to yarn over you're only going to go through one of the ones on your hook so now you still have three so you want to do that again so yarn over pull through yarn over only one of them so now you have 
have one, two, three, four, five. And yarn over, fold through. Only go through one of them. So now you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you're gonna yarn over and pull through all seven of them. And right now it doesn't really look that puffy, but now you're going to do a single crochet and it's a little poof. Um, we're just gonna single crochet two more. So here's one and then here's two. And now you're gonna wanna do another one of these. So yarn over, pull through, only go through one of them, yarn over, pull through, only go through one, yarn over, pull through, go through one, you should have seven on there, and go through all of them, and now you're just going to want to single crochet to your stitch marker. So now that we have single crochet to the rest, we have a little arm, so cute, we will now be doing, um, we will now be single crocheting two, so we have one, and we're going to put that one back in, and then we're going to do two, and then now we're kind of making the part that goes out. So we're going to do an increase, one, two, and now we're just going to single crochet 17, so that should put you at the stitch. again so just increase that one and now we're just gonna do a single crochet in each stitch all the way around so I'll see you there okay so now that we are done um, with this part so we are pretty much done actually um, after we single crochet around now we are going to do kind of what we did in one of the previous ones. So we're gonna do one single crochet. Where's my stitch marker? There it is. I'm gonna put your stitch marker in. I'm gonna do two more, so we have one, two, now you have three single crochets. And then you are going to do an increase. And now you are just going to do, you're gonna single crochet 18, till you get to the last stitch. Yeah. Okay, so we have done the 18 single crochets, crochets, and now we are going to do one increase. Um, after this, we will be doing the feet and decreasing, so we're almost done. Let's go, people. Um, for this, we are going to want to single crochet 11. So, here is one stitch, and then two, three, four, five, and you know, continuing. So, um, we have done 11, and we are going to do what we did on the arm. So, you're gonna yarn over, pull through, only go through one, you now have three. Yarn over, pull through, you now have five. Yarn over, pull through, you now have seven. Go through all of them. Eh, let's keep going. Okay, there we go. And then single crochet three. One, two, and three. Now we're going to do it again. So yarn over, pull through, go through one of them. Yarn over, pull through, go through one of them. Yarn over through and to go through one of them. Go first, go through all of them and finish crocheting until you get to your stitch marker. And excuse the hand, that was my sister. She's helping me film. Say hi sister. Hi sister. Oh never mind. Um anyway, now that we have gotten to our stitch marker we are going to start decreasing. So make sure, making sure that you're only going in the back loops only, so that's this back loop. Um, we are going to do a one single crochet. Don't forget that stitch marker. And now we're gonna do a decrease, remember, in the back loops only. I'll do it 
one more time for you guys. And yeah, so meet you back there once you're done. So now you might have one left, but you know, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, now we are just going to decrease until there's only a small hole left and then we are going to stuff it. So let's do that. Um, just take out the stitch marker. Mm -hmm. Sorry. And uh, just do a decrease and that will be the very start. You can either do it in the front loops or the back loops. It doesn't really matter. So I have, I haven't really done that many stitches, but now there's kind of a small hole left. That was my chair. Now we are going to stuff it. Boing. Um, this just helps it be um, not super flat. Oh, before we stuff it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I totally forgot about this. You can put in eyes anytime you want, but you want to make sure that you put in your eyes. put it in anywhere you want. I'm putting them right above the arms, like I did with this one. Twinsies. This looks like a mashed potato. <laughs> um, yep, so when you put in your plastic eyes, do not forget the back in your arms. They're gonna fall out and it's already stuffed and it's really, really annoying. So don't forget the back end. Okay, now that we've done that, like a farting thug when you do it but now <laughs> we're gonna stuff it I made quite a few mistakes today but you know um if you guys want to see me do another video and make even more of these uh, make sure to like and subscribe or if you want to see just more cuteness and stuff still like and subscribe no oh, this is too much um just make sure that when you stuff it, you're paying attention because it depends if you want it to be nice and firm or if you want it to be like super squishy. So yep, now our little mashed potato is, oh, it's a butt. Uh, now our little mashed potato is stuffed. We are going to finish up and I will show you what to do when you get to the end. So um, just stop when your stitches kind of start standing up. See you then. So now that you've done it and your stitches have kind of started to stand up, I'm actually going to do one more if I can. Um, now this is my way of weaving in ends. Um, you can do it a different way. But so I do is I take out a little bit like this and um, kind of tighten it a little bit. And now I just kind of go through all the holes. That sounded really weird. Um, until I Until it looks nice and closed up. do one more and then we will be finished with the body Ooh -hoo. sounded really cringy <laughs> so my yarn just breaks um you might need scissors for yours but look how easy that broke um now you're just gonna put it through tighten it off now you can kind of stick your hook in anywhere you want but then you're gonna want to like go in to where it's really nice and close wrap your yarn around and pull through and now you have a little potato but it's gonna turn into a cute little dragon once we add the spikes so see you there let's go make some spikes now that we have finished with the body like i said let's make the spikes so um although it looks kind of complicated or simple it is pretty simple and good, so let's get started. Uh, you're gonna wanna do a slip knot. Stick your hook in. And now you're gonna wanna chain three. So one, two, three. And then, and then you're gonna wanna single crochet into the very first chain that you made. And look at that, you already have a triangle. So now you're going to want to chain one, two, three, four, four chains, and you're gonna wanna go into the second one that you chained. Now we have two. So one, two, three, four. Look, count one, two, go through. And if you just wanna skip ahead and you already get it, um, make five spikes. So 
so yeah uh, then if you still don't really get it and you want to follow along you can follow along one two three four count one two single crochet one two three four ah. count one two single crochet and now my friend you have five spikes and it goes on like this how cute oh my gosh wait a second i made a chicken a chicken dinosaur <laughs> oh now you're just gonna wanna oh you're gonna wanna make sure that you have a nice long tail can't forget about that um fasten off have your spikes so for the weaving in part you are going to want to find the circle so that's right here you want to put your first one on and then you're going to want to line it up however way you want I think this is good I'm a perfectionist so I'm like everything has to be perfect and this is how I make it look good um, as you can see uh, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to go in a straight line so I take my stitch marker and grab it and I just put it in place so then it makes it so much easier to make this dinosaur or chicken it looks a lot like a chicken um, but we don't talk about that so just sew in here your needle um, so pull through and if you guys are new to sewing um, I'm not that good at explaining stuff but I'll try um, you're gonna want to go in through a hole and you're gonna want to go kind of into the body and then come out another place and there's your first one now you just want to kind of repeat that over over again. If you want to watch me do it, then you can. If you're like, I'll pass, then you can pass. Uh, like I said before, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It's always so, oh, so helpful um, with helping this channel grow. Neat. And if you want to, you can go to my channel, click on the community tab, and you guys can vote on which video I do next. So make sure to do that, and you can watch me make more cute things. Um, the options will probably be the basics and a jellyfish and like other stuff. So now you're going to want to take out your stitch marker, and this is the hard part. You're going to want to make sure that it stays nice and straight as you sew in. Don't oh, try to run away from me. Up on this one before. I think it was on that one. And then the final stitch is now in place. And you have your almost completed dinosaur. So cute. It looks like a chicken. It's a chicken dinosaur. Did you know that T Rexes evolved into chickens? Or should I say devolved? Uh, so after you've done that, you're just going to want to do um, a knot. You can do it any way that you want. I'm doing the, like, kind of that you do on your shoelaces. So like that. I you can cut off, you can cut off or break off any super long parts. And leave it, leave it in, stick it in the body. It honestly doesn't really matter what you call it. Now you have your completed dinosaur. It looks super cute and it is a great gift. So I'm actually giving these three away to my friends and yeah. See you next time. Bye!